Hey, how are you doing? This is VJ Fader. Today I'm gonna talk about what's new in Ape Mixer Pro version 2.7. A lot of the changes is happened under the hood uh, in addition to the brand new effects chain. To quickly demonstrate, I'm gonna load some video uh, files quickly uh, into the folders. Uh, these are just uh, sample files from AV Loops that came with your download package. One of the coolest features uh, that's new to AV Mixer Pro 2.7 as well as AV Mixer Lite is the, the implementation of a GIF search. So for example, type in a keyword simply. Uh, of course, you need to be connected to the internet uh, for this to work. It will crawl through Giphy website's uh, database and find the keywords that's tagged with the words that you uh, searched for. So then you can, uh, of course, uh, use this as one of your source materials. So you never have to technically go through the website and download the GIFs. Uh, now you can do everything directly inside the software, which is really cool. Uh, imagine when you had a show and then you had an idea, you had a keyword or a hashtag in your mind, and you can just uh, quickly uh, search and uh, find the content that you're looking for. The ability to search for GIFs really expands your library almost infinitely because there's so much GIFs out there. There's so much content that people have uh, converted into this GIF format. And of course, you have all these memes and all these uh, political satires. And I mean, you know, almost any sort of uh, uh, word you can think of, uh, it will return back with some kind of a video that's uh, more or less associated with the keyword that you're searching for. For example, sunset. And I can pull up uh, all these GIFs um, of sunsets uh, and uh, mix them directly uh, with, within the software itself. Again, it's very cool, very powerful. Uh, you can composite this in real time. I'm going to do some uh, uh, chroma keying and uh, select the color I want to key out. So like I mentioned earlier, uh, now a lot of the video processing is now moved into GPU, meaning that uh, everything's going to go a lot faster. Because I'm only uh, playing GIFs right now uh, with this video capture going on. So I'm getting 60 frames per second uh, on this demo, uh, which is really fast. And below the preview window on each of the three channels, you have your um, uh, brightness, contrast, saturation, and hue adjust. Uh, one of the new addition to AV Mixer Pro 2.7 is a brand new effects chain. Uh, basically, after your uh, master mix, I'll go through the, the effects uh, individually quickly here in this video. So basically, the first block uh, if you enable this on, is basically your RGB adjust. You can add or subtract the RGB value of your video. If you want to quickly tweak the colors or make it into a single color or something. Uh, and of course, there's a reset button. You click on the reset button, it resets every value to its original position. Additionally, the new kind of a button that Add, that I have added to uh, the effects chain is this trigger button and I picked this uh, drum icon because uh, I thought it's best representative of what this um, button does and you can try it out basically uh, you click on this it will enable the um, on off of the effects in a very you know basically you mouse down it enables it on and then you mouse off it turns it off and that's kind of a nice little sort of a strobe or a trigger effect you can uh, also map this to a MIDI controller or a key on your MIDI controller so that you can trigger this at any time to the beat or something and use it as a strobe or kind of a time-based kind of a triggering instead of uh, you know turning it on and off like this you can have a really fast kind of on off um, action. The second part is uh, very similar to uh, what um, previous AV Mixer Pro had is uh, transform and scale and rotation. 
And additionally, there's kaleidoscope. So kaleidoscope's back. Uh, be mindful of kaleidoscope because some people love it, some people hate it. It's a love and hate situation with the kaleidoscope effect. And um, and uh, but it's there. It's there. It's fast. Um, uh, the nice thing about the new effects chain is that it almost does not. It slows down your computer a little bit, but it still kind of maintains the playback frame rate. Uh, as you can see, uh, I'm dipping a bit below 60. Basically, you have your transform, uh, your image uh, mode, like is it bleeding edges or uh, if you want folding images to kind of repeat itself. You have your scale now is mapped to kind of uh, XY pad uh, in the UI so that you can kind of uh, scale them and pinch them in XY axis or uniformly if you want to go in a diagonal way. And of course you have your rotation, so you can scale it down, you can rotate this, um, and uh, everything in the effects chain is available uh, and mappable in uh, MIDI settings. So you can go ahead and map them into a controller, uh, so it's much better to perform live uh, through a physical controller. Below that is uh, what I would call a sort of a blend effects. Uh, blend effects, basically what that means is uh, imagine you're overlaying your exact same picture or image on top of itself and then you uh, apply different kind of a blend uh, effects and then it creates uh, different uh, looks based on your video. Uh, and the next effect down the list is Luma Shift. Um, so you can enable this and take a look once you uh, move the XY slider around. It really like uh, shift the uh, luminosity of your video and create this really trippy glitchy effect uh, so you can kind of experiment with this uh, look of course we have glow it's a line glow so it detects the edges of the images and creates the glow line effect around the image it really changes the image into this psychedelic kind of a, a tron like uh, glowing lines and lastly on the effect chain, uh, what we have is uh, feedback and uh, blur. Uh, they're kind of a together and the feedback is of course is sort of a software based feedback and, uh, and then we have our blur, just blurs the image really well. Um, again, these are typically kind of uh, processor intensive effects, especially feedback and blur. But again, because it's utilizing the GPU, hopefully you have a dedicated uh, graphics card on your laptop. So that's about it for the uh, quick overview of what's new in the AV Mixer Pro 2.7. Um, it's uh, really a big step above the previous versions and in terms of performance and features. So uh, if you're interested, uh, feel free to download the free trial version uh, available online. Uh, try out the gift search uh, feature because it's a lot of fun, especially for house parties and, and for impromptu kind of uh, ideas to search for new content really adds so much more to your show. Uh, if you liked it, uh, like the video, um, follow us on Facebook uh, and join our Facebook user group. And thanks for watching.